Hello all greetings, Namaste, this is Gilles Mancillon and I come to you today to address uh, the most, um, to do a tarot reading for the, to address the most romantic, more romantic aspect of life for the coming three months for October, November, December 2015 and that is for the sign of Leo so uh, um, basically uh, this will address uh, if your sun sign is Leo, if your ascendant in Leo, what you project into the world what your moon is, uh, if your moon is in Leo, it will address your emotional world or Mars. If Mars is in Leo, it is your sexual nature and then uh, Venus is your point of attraction. So those five, uh, five aspects uh, are conditioning those, those uh, particular uh, energies. And so you, you may want to check your natal chart you want, uh, uh, if, you, if you know those, the placement of those, uh, those planets. Uh, they, they will uh, indicate uh, certain things about your, your, your life um, as a human being in this incarnation because those uh, were imprints that we received as, uh, when we were born and, and those will uh, condition for the, the whole of our life until we, we are able to completely transcend and embrace the wholeness of, uh, of the whole zodiac. As far uh, personally, I do not have. Uh, uh, I'm, I've located about 75 planets in my uh, somewhat 75 planets in my birth chart, but I have no no planet in Leo, so it is it is the only area of the zodiac that I have this void, and so I have a tendency to attract into my life um, Leo uh, woman or Leo, even Leo man or, or people that are complementing me. Both of my parents are Leo as a Pisces, a Sun and Pisces, it is uh, somewhat difficult to live in all this fire energy, but um, but it's teaching me a great deal, and I've also had a serious relationship with Leo women. They are they're very beautiful. They're very uh, they're, they're quite magnificent. Uh, Leo is, uh, is very much the, the the passion of the creative heart. It is a very romantic sign. It's uh, Leo like to shine. Uh, they, they are brilliant. Uh, they are really brilliant. They like to rule. They they, be, they may be a bit territorial and possessive, but it's part of their nature. Uh, their key word is I will. And uh, they also may be enjoying drama a little bit uh, uh, too much for those water signs, but uh, it's part of uh, their. Uh, they, they they are very um, they are very um, assertive in a way. So, uh, but they also can be very funny and generous, and uh, um, they do not like to change their mind once their their mind is set up on something. Uh, it's difficult as most fixed signs. Um, but they're very noble. They are the the, the ruling uh, the ruling lion, and so uh, they, they enjoy the the high life. Uh, they enjoy fun, and uh, and, and they may be uh, sensitive to, uh, to to compliment. They because they they um, the way others perceive them is very important to them because they're uh, they're, they're very much into uh, into uh, uh, getting this reflection from the world. And uh, for now, as far as uh, the situation for the next three months in terms of romance is that the, it, it comes down to your ability to share what you know, to, to, be, uh, to be compassionate, to be, uh, to be a teacher. And around that, the, there is the, a great love, the power of love, the power of all embracing love. That is, uh, that is um, this, this magnificent power. Uh, so the, the, card, uh, the card of compassion is the... the the Queen of Wands, uh, this is the Venetian tarot deck that I use, that is quite romantic. And then around the energy is the Ace of Cup, which is a very, uh, the, the source of love, the, the power of emotion, the power of unity consciousness. And in your conscious mind is the judgment. So the judgment is what will come forward. It, uh, what it says uh, essentially is that um, you don't really know. So, so because you, you, you know that you don't know, you are open to, to all kinds of possibility. And uh, so the, you got to understand the past will not be, is not reflective of what's coming up. You've been through a lot of tests and, and, and trials and, and the moon in your subconscious is reflecting on that, but now you are moving into a state of completion, a state of uh, being ready for, for deep relationship, deep relationship to yourself, deep relationship to others. So those are new energy, you want to be very gentle with yourself so you can cultivate those energies. And what is coming up ahead of you is uh, around the corner, is the Knight of Wand. And the Knight of Wand 
is uh, is about being able to be free from fear it's uh, it, it is telling you that or showing you or you can feel that already that whatever used to be make you afraid no longer does that and so you are free to dance mm -hmm. in the flame and you won't get you don't get burned anymore so so it is about uh, experiencing new freedom new freedom from fear that will allow you to uh, to express your success and your compassion in a more uh, direct way and uh, to be more fulfilled within that because in this situation you are the, the queen of um, the queen of cup and the queen of cup needs to express her emotion in order to discover her beauty and so it is very important that, uh, that that you find ways to express your emotion in order to you don't have to, you realize you're not your emotion your emotion is just a tool to 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 access uh, a new sensation but but it, you have to be true to yourself and uh, um, what's important is that to understand that the world right now does not may not reflect you all that you want to be reflected there may be a sense of defeat um, that may the, the world may reflect you but it's not um, there is so much more that is coming um, this sense will you have to let go of whatever negative uh, reflection may be coming into your life and then you move into uh, an expansion that may uh, you have to direct the expansion towards what is wanted but what is coming up after that is a, a great deal of resources that are coming to you from the outside world success um, it is the six of uh, pentacle well here it's, it is represented uh, it is represented as uh, as um, as um, in in a, in a meeting of someone, but it, it's it's actually uh, it is actually uh, um, a card that uh, symbolizes success and material prosperity and abundance. And so, um, in your inner emotion, you have the chariot, which is the the, the vehicle that that allows you to to travel within your mind, travel within your your own self. It, it is a wonderful card because. It is a card of moving forward, but you, it, it's paradox, paradoxically, you, you don't have to go anywhere for those things are already within you and you're moving with that, so you are able to attract what you need. And the key and the outcome to, the, to this reading for the next three months is to be able to manifest your inner success outwardly. So, uh, it is about uh, uh, being, uh, being so well uh, anchored into your energy where you are able to, to live fully your life without having to, uh, to, to even doubt anything because your inner success will be made manifest. So there will be a great deal of change. Um, once again, the more you know you don't know, the, the faster you will be able to, to move forward with things and, and know that there is all this love that is here and so do not let yourself be distracted by temporary setback or temporary delays or, 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 or maybe uh, the, if, if a relationship in the past did not work, it's, it's not reflecting of what's coming up in the future. So be open, be ready, and, uh, and, and, and the, the, the world, the universe will bring you uh, all kinds of things, partners or, or even a relationship, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but in the meantime, just uh, concentrate on yourself, focus on, on expressing your, your compassion, your love, your wisdom, and, and making your success manifest. Free yourself of fear, and you'll see that everything will unfold gracefully and naturally. I thank you very much. Uh, if you have any comment or if anything I said resonated positively with you, uh, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always happy to, to hear your, your feedbacks. I wish you a wonderful um, three months of, of uh, uh, romantic uh, expression and, and uh, hope all the opportunities uh, you'll be free to, to enjoy that and, and to express your emotion in the world and to, to uh, unfold this beauty that is already within you so that uh, you may uh, shine uh, and, and be uh, happy and empowered and uh, just as um, the universe wants you to be. I thank you very much. Have a good day. Namaste.